Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines here from the Automator, and uh, today is Christmas. Merry Christmas, yay! Uh, my family actually went to Disney World, I, I stayed home to take care of the dog, so um, I'm working, what a surprise. And I was just uh, wrapping up doing the newsletter for this week and realized, hey, it's the end of the week. Instead of doing a what we worked on this week, why don't we look back in the last year? So this handy dandy little script we created during one of these calls, um, I went back 365 days instead of six days. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to run it. Of course, remember, this is all we do, right? We work in auto hotkey, and it'll be very curious to see. It's going across, ooh, 6,079 files. So in the last year, I've updated 6,079 auto hotkey files. Now, I'm not going to go through every one of these. Um, let's just look at the high points. Can I sort by size? Not that I would want to do that. Let's do that. Start with folder menu. Interesting. Let to list. That's it. So... That's one that um, it's a really cool one. You haven't checked it out. You can look on the forum. That's a great one for uh, for showing some of the cool things you can do with AutoHotKey. Now, Prompt Assistant is our you know version we've just released. It's a paid for tool, but it's very cool, very easy to add new stuff. And now we're even letting you run AutoHotKey code, and you can launch folders and do other things with it. So it's really awesome. Um, this folder menu, actually, I'm not sure what. Oh, that's my life's work thing. Okay, the ACC viewer. TV guide? What is that? Oops. Oh, unfortunately, what is this? Maybe he didn't make it where I can make it. I can make I can move this over though. And then move this over. Oh, interesting. From the archive. Uh again, let's list. So I'm not sure why there's multiple ones. I guess I could download different places. The screen clipping with options. So that's our screen clipping tool. It's our most popular script. Right? That's the one that does this. Um, and then you can save it. Uh, or do a lot of stuff with it. You can use OCR on it as well. I hope at one point to change the OCR if you want to use your ChatGPT OCR, because I did that, and it does a great job, especially with table data. Like if you have, if we grab stuff that's in a table, it will break it on columns, and it doesn't really do a great job. It's, it's the Windows OCR stuff, so it's not not our tool, but we just leverage what's in Windows 10 and forward. Uh, anyway, um, we'll get that done at some point. ACC uh, library, screen clipping, notify, this is going to be hard, Windows clipping, wing clip API. Now that's one with, with um, clip share. All right, I'm jumping around a lot. Twitter scheduler, um, HK script hub. So script hub, that's a great one where you can peek at all the running scripts and edit them or open their folders and whatnot. Um, did the example sending emails, Twitter scheduler. So this allows me to automate our Posting, I think we can do a hundred a day if I remember right. There is a max, and it's just because we're automating the browser. I think we use Brafadium to automate the browser. This auto suggester, we're working on a new script. I'm really excited about getting that one going. Where we're going to basically have um, like IntelliSense, but in any editor, and you can control what goes into it. Uh, the second one we're going to do is borrow that same concept and have it as a fuzzy match, and also monitor your clipboard. So that'll be really cool. Uh, mp3 ripper so here if you have a video or another audio file you can use ffmpeg to just rip the audio out of it and save it as an mp3 file um, that's really nice this one i process because i record a lot in zoom and it um ffmpeg does an amazing job shrinking those files down it's often like a third the size of the file so it does a great job compressing it you can barely tell the difference but it really looks awesome and uh it saves a lot of hard drive space because i save everything on my hard drive Besides loading up to YouTube and otherwise, um, link clip API. Yeah, it's a good. Um, I think we have that in V two now. But we should. We need to remember to go share that because there. I think that's uh, ours. Uh, the notify script. This is a great one for doing notifications. Um, really robust and flexible. You can have callbacks. You can have it wait for you to click it. You can have hyperlinks in the stuff. Really, really helpful. Um, as Rafadium web driver. Rafadium is a great way to automate browsers as long as you can have a. A download because we need to download the web driver right so as long as you can do that on your computer then you can really reliably automate browsers and web pages it's, it's a lot like how consistent ie was right in that sense of it works great it's just you need to be able to download the web driver uh, let's see events notify no close task dialogue um, I think that's just to show the the dialogues. Yeah, that that's like a, a fancy message box. Um, this one during our hero calls, people were laughing because it um, on my I was sharing my screen, 
And when people would join the call, it would pop up and say, hey, such or such joined or such or such left. And um, Dale was like, but I didn't leave. And I'm like, well, we're using ACC and it's a bit complicated, but it's handy because now it also, with my media player, which is somewhere in this list, I'm sure, um, I can have music cranked up and I'll be hanging out here in Zoom and Isaiah or Irfan or Rizwan will join. It automatically lowers my media player for me and lets me know with the pop-up on the screen that they've joined the call. So that's really handy. Um, we have a YouTube scheduler. So if you're watching on the YouTube channel, you'll see every day, I think there's maybe two per day. I don't remember if it's one or two per day, but we automated, we went through and grabbed links to all of our videos. And I need to go back and add more links to other things, but we're posting there. So that's been automated. Um, let's see. Just trying to look at the bigger stuff. I have no idea what we're doing with one view. Um, Shoving an image. Now, this was predates Clipster. So we realized with Clipster, that's what we wrote. It's in V2. But you can take um, a picture, and like the path to the picture, and shove it, automate shoving it into your clipboard for you and then pasting it. You can also, though, take HTML as well, or or even, I think, RTF. Well, no, it's HTML. And uh, so it's really convenient that you can automate pasting of those things. Uh, this goes and gets our Udemy, which I don't even do stuff on Udemy anymore. We still, I don't know, I get you know money from the sales and the courses there. But yeah, I get like $2 a course, so or well, a sale. So it's just really ridiculous at how little income. Auto hockey is just too niche, and it never got more. I think one month at one time I got $1,000, um, but it's just very, very niche. And at $2 a, a sale, it's just really low. So anyway, um, here's the current, no, I'm not sure what we were doing with that. Uh, it'd be data job checker engage. Oh, okay. So we're doing, oh, wow. That stuff is updated. Okay. Um, heat maps, boy, as you can see, we could keep going on and on, but yeah, it's been a crazy year. Um, we've done a lot of great client work for people. So if you're interested in having, not having to learn, you know, some clients actually sit and watch us um often Isaiah will be doing the work for them and they'll ask questions well how are you doing this or that and it's just a great way for them to pick up nuggets that's how i a lot learned a lot of mine from working with mace and, and Isaiah's over the years right of just sitting here and i'll see them do something and i'll like wait wait and of course it slows down the process but i learn a lot just by sitting here hanging out with them while they're doing stuff um, but we all also offer just, you know, to define the goal and then we go do the work for you. You don't have to be there. It's up to you. And we do usually, even when we're, you're not there, we'll record it and then give you the session because as I said, I've noticed this, it's a great tip. If you're, you know, wanting to get into programming, most of the really, really good programmers that I know, they talk to themselves while they're programming. And I've realized it's kind of like the rubber ducky method, right? When you're saying it out loud, it helps you think through things. So it's a great tip. But um, I'll hang out here with Isaiah you know, all day, and he'll be talking, talking, talking. Um, but and, and it's great. That's what allows me to learn. But um, that's also why we go ahead and record the sessions as well, so we can give them to clients. Um, Zillow used to have an API. Unfortunately, I don't anymore. Yeah, boy, we could we could spend eight years going through this, right? But um, do I have? No, I'll have to ask Isaiah. Maybe we should have the date in here, even though the whole point of this thing was to do it in the last six days. So that's why it's not in here, right? Because it wouldn't necessarily make sense. Tech Sift, by the way, um, just the other day, Irfan was working on the V2 version of that. So we're converting it to V2 because we want to have a fuzzy match. And he borrowed the part of it, does it? But we want to, I said, he'd already started working on converting the entire thing. So I'm like, okay, just, just finish it. So we'll be sharing that pretty soon. The ultimate spy, that is a amazing tool. And we made some really cool updates to it. So we'll be making a video on that pretty soon and releasing it. We're making a couple other, I thought of a couple other things. We're really close, but I figured let's just hold off before we release it. But that's a really great one. Yeah. So, you know, usually I'm, oh, this is client work. Okay. That's there's, um, Zoho, start page. I wonder why is there a... That's interesting. I don't know why there's not a hotkey script in that. Um, Edge, oh, Edge web driver. It's funny because someone was writing me, asking me for examples. Oh, I think this was where we weren't... Yeah, we're going to record a couple of videos using Refadium for automating Edge because they were trying to find examples of it and we don't have any. And it's I'm like, it's just like automating Chrome or Firefox with, with Refadium. It's very, very similar. Um, so he should be able to just watch the Chrome videos we have on it. But okay, maybe we'll make one or two with how to automate Edge. 
Make sure it's on screen display. I probably should sort it by file name so we get a lot of the redundancies. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. It's been a crazy busy year. And uh, next year we now have Rizwan just started. He he's he's given his notice at his job, so he's working part time until that's done. So um, early next year he'll be full time. So we'll have three full time employees plus me. Uh, so we're going to be working away, creating a lot more stuff, a lot more scripts, free scripts to download, um, and doing your done for you stuff in courses, of course. Um, draw, boy, that was a, a fun try. I was trying to get to draw an arrow with the window stepping tool and. We finally just said, you know, I think we'll just leave it alone and we'll use Hellbent once we ever make that conversion. Uh, back up the registry. Show the fine dialogue. Yeah. So anyway, you get the idea. Um, crazy, crazy busy year. I was trying stuff with Map Point. That's an old Windows Microsoft GIS um, geographic information system. Uh, map apps like Google Maps kind of thing, plotting. Um, HK Help. Script Scanner, it's another great one. The overlaying of text with FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a crazy, crazy powerful tool. But yeah, you get the idea. We have a lot of stuff. This is just, again, this is just the last year, over 6,000 files. Now, some of them you see there's a lot of redundancy, right? So let's just, let's knock it in half. Let's say every, you know, so that's 3,000. But um, yeah, I think we we have quite a bit of stuff we've been working on. Uh, and And also, everything we release, you know, it takes time. This is why if you guys, if you can afford it, when you download a script, if you know, donate, if you can, it helps us out because we spend dozens of hours on usually on each script. It's not like a quick thing because there's debugging and just stuff that goes on. So if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. It's fine. But if, if it's, if it's convenient for you, that'd be really nice. Anyway, hope you have a great holiday and uh, have a great New Year's Eve. Stay safe. Um, we'll be around and we'll hope to see you next year. Cheers.